everybody. Today is uh, Tuesday, the 26th of April, and today I'm working a night shift. Today I'm working from uh, 4 p.m. until uh, at least 12 p.m. Maybe I'll work a little past that, depending on on uh, how many loads I got left at that time, and uh, also if I feel like I got to keep, like I want to keep going. So anyway. This is, this is the first video that I, uh, I'm filming in uh, almost two weeks now because uh, last week there was no work. The whole week I didn't, I didn't get any work. It was close on uh, I, think it was, I think it was a Thursday. They, they, had, they actually had, had a couple loads that, uh, that I could take and all that and, and drive a 10 hour shift. The problem was they were one truck short so there was a no go on that. So. Last week there was no work, so that's why I haven't filmed uh, for almost two weeks now. Uh, but this week I'm uh, I'm getting work uh, so far anyway. Yesterday I worked, and uh, today I'm working also another like eight-hour shift, like I was saying, uh, from like four four p.m. Uh, till 12, 12 p.m. So, but. Uh, this week it's a bit different than it usually is because this week I'm driving just a truck and I'm actually you can probably see I'm driving a little different truck I'm driving one of these small trucks that don't have a, a coupling for, for pulling the trailer that already know it and it just says mixed uh, waste I don't really know what that what it is but uh, that's what I'm doing anyway so it's quite a bit different from what I usually do and yesterday I, I uh, had like six containers I had to get in just like one area with a bunch of with a bunch of houses and uh, that was uh, was just going to the same neighborhood again and again I had to go there six times and uh, it's like you had to open these like uh, gates to get in and out um, So that's quite a bit different, like I was saying, from what I usually do. But it's all good, you know, you gotta try on new stuff too. It's good that I learned uh, how to do some of the stuff with the, just the truck too, so. It's, um, yeah. Anyway, so now I'm going to uh, Hissing it place called Hissing Sherra to go get uh, one of these containers. It's a good thing I got a GPS because <laughs> let me tell you I wouldn't be wanting to mess with the map right now. <laughs> the thing is also you get to some of these areas and, and it might be an address and then you gotta maybe look around a little it's not exactly parked on the, on the spot where, where it's like if it says whatever street number four it might not be might not be there. Maybe it's around the corner or something, so you gotta keep your eyes open. Oh, oh again. Now I'm back here. Now I'm here getting this container, and I'm just gonna check to see that it closed it up properly because it didn't look good in here in the back. You see, they've closed it here. But the problem is it's supposed to go inside this thing. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. Problem is but maybe I should Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to take a look at this thing. Because it might do more harm than good if I I do that. So I'm gonna climb up on this thing, see what's up. I think it's packed so much that you're not gonna be able to close it once you open it up. Uh, although I can't really see what's down there though. I'm gonna have to see if this doesn't open up. Ouch. I'm gonna see if it doesn't open up though. So that's not a. Okay. There's a bit of a problem here. See this thing. We gotta just see if it's gonna open up or not. Now, it's not closed properly, but 
it won't be opening up so there's no reason to mess with it anymore when you go get these things from like external customers like this just when just place that's been placed out like this you gotta always check so it's locked locked up properly in this case it wasn't but it's not gonna open up on me anyway as far as the roof goes it's low enough so I'm just gonna pull it on and get going So I'm done with that load. Show me more when I go get the next one. I think I'm seeing the next one over there. You don't really see it. It's like an orange container over there. Hello again. Now I'm uh, back at that neighborhood, except another part of the neighborhood. And I'm gonna pull on my next container, which is the fourth, fourth load for today. That, put on extra lights and start pulling on. It's my fourth container, which means I got three more containers to go today. It's a total of seven loads. Hopefully, I get all of them, but I'll see. Depends how late it gets. I'm making pretty good time so far. It's only about 9 09 p.m. So, oops, let me just pull this back a little. There you go. There. This, well, this one, unlike the other one, was closed properly. I mean, the other one, it wasn't a problem because it wasn't going to open up. But this one is actually closed properly, so that's a good thing. So, that's nice. One thing that's nice about these small trucks, they they have a button, they'll have a button for unlocking, unlocking the, the the container on the actual joystick. So that's a nice thing. There you go. Today I actually have quite a bit of space. That was not the case yesterday. Some of those places where I had to pull on the containers yesterday, they were pretty tight. Uh, so that's nice. Let's see what the, la the last three containers. We'll see what the last three containers what they're gonna be like, what kind of areas they're gonna be in. I don't know if that container I saw before is actually part of the loads I'm gonna get today because uh, I don't know, I don't see any uh, signs or the name names of any of those neighborhoods that I saw on the paper, but they could be. Now you further down it's a different name the the street's got a different name, so we'll see. Well, anyway. I film a little later when I get my, one of my last loads, the last one or the almost the one before the last one. I'm gonna dump the fourth load and as you can see I've already dumped like uh, a couple loads here dumped like uh, two loads already one there one there so I'm gonna dump the next one right here so as you can see this one was locked up properly you see it on this lock right here so let's get open it up all right there you go Just hang this 
thing up here. Looks like my next load is in the same neighborhood after all, so it, it's got to be that container I saw when I got the other load. So after that, just two more loads, but they're in two separate neighborhoods. So let's see what that's at. Anyway. latch it on right here that way it won't open up okay we're good to go oh again now I'm uh, back uh, now I'm at uh, East Seeking Shadow again and uh, another place of East Seeking Shadow and I'm getting the last container for the day this place was a little tight as you can see they got these uh, pillars or what you want to call them but it wasn't as bad as it looked so I'm just gonna make sure that it closed the port on this thing Nope, it's not closed properly. Uh, that's weird. Actually, what I probably got to do is probably lower it, lower it down again. Today for us. seven loads, so I think that's about enough fun for one day. Mm -hmm. 